the bedroom here. Yes. Five years ago, we opened up Malika Baby's home. <laughs> yeah, there's another one actually. I like, oh, this is really nice. This is great. We wanted to prove that we could place children into families. We set up a social work department and we resettled 200 children into families. <laughs> so for years we've been talking about a short-term foster care pilot, but it's quite scary because it had never been done before in Uganda. Historically these children have been placed into orphanages for care and protection. But what we wanted to do is we wanted to see if it was possible to place these children in temporary families. But we were very lucky because we had a, a couple of carers who worked at Malaika who were brave enough to say, we'll give it a try. And we trained them up and we placed these children into their, their own family home. And when I went to personally visit the children in their family homes, the difference of the children's development of the children in the foster care compared to children in Malaika was so stark that as soon as I saw that, I realised that actually foster care was the way forward. So today is a very exciting day um, because it's an open day and we're inviting all the referral agencies and other adoptive parents and we want to introduce the concept of this short-term foster care pilot. Now we have adoptive parents, you must welcome, without the police. People are really interested to know much more about short-term foster care. A good number of people want to come back and learn. There were even one-on-one -on -one interaction sessions indicate that the, the today's session was really, really informative. Actually, I'm very happy with Malaika's initiative of giving these children their rights and helping them to grow and even getting them homes. It is the best way to handle these children. They came to us and they introduced themselves and they introduced to us what they were doing, the strong beginnings. So I was against it at the start. I think after the trainings of strong beginnings, children belong in families, then I think I realized that mm, it can work. This is a best practice that we are promoting, so we, we definitely are, are going to continue working with Child Child Foundation to scale up this practice to, uh, to other uh, child care institutions who are currently not doing it and to strengthen uh, those practices with the child care institutions that are also uh, have come on board. There are more children now leaving the institutions, being taken into foster, uh, short-term foster care, which is uh, the practice that we should all be uh, promoting.